Hello everyone, my name is Dilkram Guman and today I will be presenting my 311 project on coolants, lubricants, and machining operations. So let's get started with some terminology and a little overview of the video. Even though coolant and lubricant are commonly interchanged in our everyday language, they do not mean the same thing. You can have air cooling, which does not provide lubrication. In this short video, we'll discuss the benefits and drawbacks of coolant and lubricant and how they relate to machining operations. We'll also discuss the main types of coolant used in the industry. This textbook by Anjani classifies coolants and lubricants as cutting fluids, which are used to reduce friction between two objects in contact during machining. On top of reducing friction, which dissipates the heat, the coolant is used to lubricate and remove chips from the workspace. This prolongates the life of the tool and prevents friction weld to occur, as we can see on the screen. There's four different types of cutting fluids. Soluble oil, synthetic fluids, semi-synthetic fluids, and straight oils. As you can see by this chart, soluble oils are the most common cutting fluids in the United States at 46%, followed by straight oils at 23%, then semi-synthetic oils at 90%, and finally synthetic oil at 12%. The biggest problem with the soluble oils is that they're prone to fungus and bacteria growth. Synthetic fluids are the cleanest since they don't contain any minerals, but they provide low lubrification. Semi-synthetic fluids are considered by many to be the best cutting fluids available on the market. They're often a 4 to 1 water and oil mixture and have mineral oil which improves the lubrification. Straight oils do not contain any water. They're thick oils that provide great lubrification but suffer on the cooling end. Coolant concentration levels also have an effect on the cooling level achieved. If the concentration is too low, this can lead to corrosion to oil and bacterial growth. On the other hand, if the concentration of the coolant is too high, this can lead to less heat transfer, foaming, low lubrification, waste of product, increases tool wear since we have more mineral and it can lead to stains and it could be toxic for the user. In order to deliver the cutting fluid, there are three main methods by air, flood, or mist. Air blasting is great for chip removal, but it does not provide any cooling. With flood cooling, we get the benefit of chip removal and lubrification, but it does leave a big mess to clean up. Mist cooling is a hybrid of the air blasting and flooding, so it provides great lubrification, but not enough cooling. Choosing the right cutting fluid and delivery method depends mostly on the material of the tool and the stock material, and it's used to prevent thermal shock from occurring. Cutting fluids increase the depth of cut, which in return increases the material removal rate. The result obtained is a cleaner surface finish and more accurate dimensions. When broaching, it's recommended to use a liberal amount of cutting fluid. Coolants are also often used with drilling, grinding, milling, sawing, tapping, and threading. Thank you for watching.